Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Game on. We just keep on gaming on. I'm lucky and I'm bringing you more Dragon's Dogma 2 today. So last episode we talked to Brant, did a couple of quests, bought a house. Right now we're working on finding some raiment for the masquerade ball we're trying to attend. The problem is, the only raiment I found is really expensive for $155,000 and $150,000 for a pair of pants and shirts. So that's $305,000 gold, which I don't have. It's going to take way too long to build up and get. So that's like, if I absolutely can't do it any other way, we'll do it. We're going to go talk to this barber first here in town and see if they have anything for us. And if not, we're going to go to the brothel where we have a card and we'll go use our card to get into the brothel and see if maybe there's some way we can get some clothes off somebody there. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. And where was the barber in relation to where I am now? If I just go straight, they're right across. There they are. of every ilk. First impressions count for much. If you like, I can recommend you a new hairstyle or manner of face paint. The peril on the roads puts a strain on my business. No, nothing I can do. Hope to see you again. Do it again. There you go. So, no barber shop raiment. Hello, Mr. Bagger. You're back again, I see. Look, master, a so treasure I... chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So I think with the beggar quest, we probably just have to stand around for a while and watch him and then eventually follow him to where he needs to go to activate the next section of the quest. We haven't done that, so he's still there. But we'll do that at some point. Where would that raiment be? Whereupon he found serpent and soldier. That is what you wish, Arisen. I'll go on ahead. Oh, what's this? It's the back of the item shop. That's what this is. Need anything? Yeah, that courtly tunic. Got some good things on the off. pants too. Stop by again soon. So I don't know. I don't know where to go to get these pants. So let's move on to the next quest for the moment. And then hopefully that'll come into play at some point. Let's see about what the beggar's got going on here. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Much appreciate. I can't give him another coin. Gather round, gather round. Treat your Ooh. ears to And should my story entertain you, nay, even if it should, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. 
our hero. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. What do you want? Mm. I want to find this raiment. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master story. So we'll sit here and we'll watch the beggar and should for a minute. We'll see what he does. Nay, even if it shouldn't. I think we have to go through his whole little tale. to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close. Today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. Our hero. Ventured into a shrine long enclosed, whereupon he found serpent and soldiers in battle of hope. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Quiet, lady, I'm trying to listen to this tale. To God damn it. Shut up. Roll by. And not a moment too soon, for there came a flash of light. Hmm. Hear the room filled with screams, soldiers wailing at their flight. Then the shrine grew deathly still, and our hero was all alone. For every last soldier had been transformed into stone. Wary of his foe, and with presence of mind, the man crept up to the pillar upon which it was entwined. Seeing his moment, he unsheathed his blade and brought the pillar low in a thundering cascade. <laughs> The gloating serpent was caught by surprise, and with a pitiful hiss, neath the pillar it writhed. Right. Till mustering swiftly the last of its might, to the depths of the shrine did the monster take flight. Thus, with a wit as sharp as his sword was honed, did our hero. While we're here, shall we take care of that other task we were entrusted with as well? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Well, I was in each story. Interrupted a couple times, but cool. So now he's going to tell the story again. I thought for sure he'd activate something. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to so What do you have to say about this? beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. But it's clear this storytelling's got little to do with his... So where's he get his coin, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Could be he's involved in something untoward. Much appreciated. So now, since I listened to it and nothing's really happened, I wonder if it must be a time of day or listen to it multiple times kind of thing. But either way, I kind of thought of something. I kind of thought that if I sneak into the castle, there might be some nice raiment I can steal. Patience is the key. Okay, we're gonna go to the castle and see if there's any rain that we can steal there. And, should my story enter and then if not, I guess the only thing we can do is grind 300,000 gold to buy that stuff. But damn, that's a lot of grinding, and I don't know if I have that much time, like actually in-game time. Because it keeps giving me this like notice like, hey, go see the sovereign, go find the false sovereign. Uh, very relaxing music. Like you're in town, you made it to a safe spot. It's like you just chill out here and be okay. Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. Whoa. This time he set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. Uh-oh. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning Man, alive. Man, you talk about cold-hearted, and I'm gonna go and bang your wife, and I want you to go kill this monster that 
I know you can't kill, so fuck you. <laughs> That's the sort of man that noble Damn. is, you see. Naught noble about him, if you ask me. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect that tyrannical saludo thinks he can do whatever he likes. And what well, that's crazy. I mean, are we gonna do something about it or no? Was that not like a quest activation thing? It didn't give me any kind of quest for it. Oh, this is because we're in the noble sector. We're learning all about the nobles. I don't think I've visited this sector yet. Oh, oh. To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the... The man's home is located in Bak Batal. Back, but you need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. We'll say we all right, we did get a side quest there. Cool. The other guy didn't give us a side quest. He just wanted to tell us how shitty that lord was. So you must go off on your own. There's naught to be done. I only hope you return sooner rather than later. Oh, you know what? Maybe in the noble quarter we can steal some raiment, guys. <gasps> oh, I love how the music's became like a marching theme and super like ceremonial here in the castle. Really feels royal. It's supposed to be the church or something, huh? No. I dare say you do not belong here. You are right about that at the moment. What, pray tell? Nothing, I'm leaving. Before I get in trouble here. I am not here to amuse you. You seem to be rather friendly with Captain Branson. Tell me, it is lamentable that the captain of the late consul's guard, but there are whispers. He was relegated to garrison, eh? Yeah. So he was mad at somebody. I don't think we can really go into the castle here. I think we're not supposed to be in here. I think we're pushing it, running around the yard. I, no, I hear the coronation. Of course, the matter of attendance is always a contention. So I'm kind of thinking that we're going to go to the Noble Quarter, guys, and look around there. Because if there's anywhere to steal some nice clothes, it's going to be in the Noble Quarter. Like, I thought about the castle, but... I'm already not supposed to be up here. They're already looking at me all weird. If I go inside the castle, it's gonna be really bad. So it's probably not the way you're supposed to go. But I could totally see it being in the noble quarter. Good to see you, master. Good to see you too. What's this? Good tidings to you. Are you the arisen? I, I thought you might be the one. My husband's Margaret. with you, you see. Tis through him I hear much of the god. I suppose you're here to see him. You'll have to come another day, I fear. Mm. He's been sent out on a mission. And I can't say when he'll return. It's a perilous mission at that. I've heard he is to fell a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I worry for him. I do hope he'll fare all right. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. Uh -huh, the... As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? I'm the teller of Ludolf's plot. No. You mean, not my Gregor? 
Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please, save... Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. Our aid is required, Master. Let us depart with due haste. Okay. So that means we need to go right away. What's this? Courtly tunic! Guys! Guys, we got the courtly tunic. We found some raiment. That's what I'm talking about. Cereal. Useful things, these. All right. See, this game's so sick, it doesn't really hold your hand. Like, it didn't really tell me where the stuff was. But I kind of, like, figured it out just based on what I knew. Like, okay, nobles, they have nice clothes. But it took me a minute to get to it. I thought, where would nice clothes be? Well, up at the castle, they have nice clothes on. Noble's Diary. The role of the Oracle is integral to this nation and not one easily replaced. Thus, the Oracle's disappearance in the wake of the dragon attack on Melb is a grave affair indeed. And yet, Queen Regent Disa is not seen fit to search for her, preferring to prioritize the recovery of our new sovereign. Just what does she intend to do about the impending coronation? Surely he has not forgotten that without the Oracle's word, it cannot be made official. Yeah, Disa's pulled all sorts of strings. Now she's got the Oracle missing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some Jasper. So anywho, now we're on the trail. We got the courtly tunic, and let's see if we find these pants. Look, it's right there, guys. Boom, courtly breeches. Now, and they put it in a place where you're gonna be anyways if you're trying to do side quests. Okay, so we've got our courtly outfit, along with the mask. I'm pretty sure that's all we need, but we're gonna check around here and see what else is in the Watchhead's house. Salubrious drought. Cool. Let's go down and talk to her one more time. Dropping frames. Dropping frames. Oh, she's outside. All right, there's nothing else in here. We found all of it. Okay. Good job, pawns. We raided. Let's roll. Raid and roll. Raid and roll. That's what we do. So with all these guys coming around you when your husband's gone. Okay, we will. We will go there. I just want to look around for a minute longer. Comptroller's home. These now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Okay, you gather them now. Salubrious drought, soothing brew. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff on my courtly raiment. Wait, what? Where is it? They must have gone to my storage unit. That was strange. I don't understand. I can't just put it on. drum of daily life ring of deflection reduces damage taken from slash attacks the ring I have on now reduces damage taken from strikes Okay, let's go to the inn and see about our storage and see if the raiment's in storage. Because that's about the only thing I could think if I don't have it. Be careful with that thinking. That's how you get in trouble here. You're just a peon. Don't forget it. The royalty does not want you to be thinking.
This ladder can take us to new heights. That's cool. New discoveries await us. I just want to find my home. Where is it? Sure, if I go this way. Oh god. Yep, nice. Feels airy. Man, I don't understand. Let's go talk to Brant and see. Change it tonight first. We'll go talk to Brant and see if, like, he's the key. If maybe, like, it activates when we talk to him. And then, if he doesn't have it, we're gonna have to go take care of that quest for that lady real quick. Thoughts was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Oh, I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. Vim and Vigor. Wouldn't that be a cool, cool name for a band? Vim and Vigor. Welcome. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen our masquerades being as they are, much is made of appearance. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve. So, man, okay. He didn't have it either. And I still don't have it. So did one of my pawns grab it? But I know I picked it up. No. He has it. The hell? Why did he have it, I wonder? And where's the other piece? Does that mean you have this piece? And Noel, she has a lot of rings. Yeah, she has my courtly breaches. Why does it go to their inventory? Man, that was really bad, guys, because what would have happened if I lost both those pawns is I would have lost that stuff. So that's one thing you got to be careful of. So we found the raiment in the Noble Quarter. Okay, now we can go to the Masquerade. So we're going to backtrack real quick. Brant gave us a quest about a Masquerade that's happening inside the castle. We had to find some raiment for it. The only raiment we were able to find before this was at the inn. Look at that, she's staring right at the camera, asking me what the hell are you doing? That's funny. Was that the, not the end, but the shopkeeper by the inn over there? But it was 150000 $155,000 for each set, or for each piece. So instead, I thought about it, I thought, gosh, where can we find some nice clothes? And I thought, oh, the castle. Then on my way to the castle to look, I found the noble quarter, and I thought, well, this is actually where we would be, is in the noble quarter here. So we found it in the... Is it Baldwin's estate, Townsend estate, the Watchhead's home? That's where we found the raiment, guys. So if you need to go to the masquerade, you need to go to the Watchman's home, the Watchhead's home. There's a quest with the Watchhead's wife uh, related to it, and you need to take that quest to go in here and get the raiment. When we come back, we'll take care of the Watchhead's quest and rescue him from his mission where this evil lord sent him off so we could bang his wife. Then we'll come back and we'll attend the masquerade. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.